Blake White, B L A K E W H I T E, Deputy Chief Houston Fire. Yes, sir. So, where are we and what did you respond to? Uh, the uh, companies or our fire department was uh, called to a reported apartment fire initially at, at the uh, 4000 block of Meadow Lake Lane, which is near San Felipe and uh, uh, Westland. Uh, firefighters upon arrival found it was a, a two story residence, large two story residence with a lot of smoke and fire coming from the second floor. First in company, first in engine company, went to the second floor to a primary search and a fire attack. They uh, were pulling ceiling down in the second floor, trying to knock the fire down, but the fire had reached a lot of uh, the void space in the attic. And uh, after about 20 minutes, that crew started to run out of air. They started to exit the uh, structure. Uh, they made their way down to the first floor uh, when one of the uh, firefighters started to run out of air and did call for a mayday, but he luckily was right at the front door. Our uh, rapid intervention team crew was right there. They were able to get him out. Uh, he was transported, priority two, which means lights and siren, to uh, Memorial Herman uh, for smoke inhalation. Uh, the crews are still out on scene right now. They're in a defensive posture. Uh, we're trying to fight it with ladder pipes. Uh, it's, it's a large, large two-story. It's a modern design, lots, lots of large rooms and void spaces. So right now we're just trying to uh, battle it from outside. So how far into this fire are you? We're over an hour and a half into it right now. Uh, so another reason why we really don't want to put crews in, we put a lot of water on the structure. There's been a lot of fire damage. So putting crews in there right now would be really dangerous. So we're trying to get the fire, the brunt of the fire knocked down. So we could physically see partial structural collapses. Is, there, is that part of the reason for firefighter safety and keeping everybody out? Oh yes, yeah, we thought the amount, because we have ladder pipes flowing, which is a tremendous amount of water. And then the fire damage itself, it's, it's good to keep our crews out of there right now. Was anybody home at the time? There was. Uh, the owner was at home. I, uh, we have spoke with the owner. Uh, he does say that it appears that it might have been electrical in nature. Uh, we're not, you know, the arson investigators are coming out to the scene as that standard operating procedure for a second alarm fire. So they will investigate and talk to the owner. But uh, that is what the owner is stating. Male, he self evacuated? Yes, he did self evacuate. Nobody else injured or anything? Like no that? other injuries. Okay, so any idea where and how it started yet? Uh, it appears to be, it might be electrical, but uh, I'm not sure exactly where it might have started. I was hearing from neighbors that it might have been the AC system on the roof. Would that be consistent with what you're hearing? That potentially could be it. He, uh, there was some, he was looking at that as a potential issue. He did, he did say something about the AC unit and a, a breaker kicking, but uh, again, they're gonna investigate that. Do you have any pets or any, any pets? Uh, I have not have heard, he did not mention any pets, and so I'm not aware of any that he didn't seem to be concerned about, so I don't, I don't think so. I was gonna say, this is a beautiful, massive bullet. Any idea how large it is? Oh, it's, I would assume it's probably close to 4,000, if not more, maybe 5,000 square foot. I'm not sure of the square footage. But for it to come in as apartment fire, obviously somebody thought it was you know, obviously it was large and uh, yeah that's a, that's a big challenge it's modern design large rooms a lot of void spaces the the truss construction up in the in the roof which leads the old the truss construction can lead to collapse if it gets attacked by fire that's another reason we watch for for our firefighter safety and start pulling people out so is that covered in stucco or is that concrete sprayed on there? Uh, I'm not sure if it's stucco or I haven't really looked at it but pro probably stucco Talking several million dollars, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, the size of the, and the location, obviously. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I get your name one more time? Blake White, B-L-A-K-E-W-H-I-T-E. Thank you, sir. Thank you.